Quick refresher when using Shoreline East and Metro North. When do we change and when do we don't? 722.22, and there they are. The logo for Shoreline East on the right and Metro North's logo on the left. Remember, Metro North is a trademark of the Metropolitan Transit Authority. Intro. When we went to Larchmont back on 7-9, there was a lot of confusion and short fuses. This presentation gives a guide to how things work and specifically when we must change trains at Stanford. So, SLE and MN Review up next. Shoreline East on the weekend. In Saybrook, there was the instinct to go to track one and follow the signage, as usual. But that would, but that is incorrect because Amtrak and Shoreline East basically switched places in, in on the weekend mornings. So. For an 8.46 a.m. departure to New Haven, we must use Track 2, which is the closest to the parking lot when walking up to the platform. It is like this till 1 p.m. Transfer to the New Haven line in New Haven. NHB stands for New Haven. Usually, about 90% of the time, SLE and Metro North will be right next to each other at Union Station. For example, if SLE comes in on track 12, then MN would be on 14. Sometimes they don't meet across from each other for whatever reason. So, what do we do? You take the elevator down to the underground walkway and follow the appropriate signs. But sometimes, if SLE comes in on 10, then you might have to walk over to 14. So, when do we change in Stanford? Change in Stanford. You change in Stanford if you're going to Old Greenwich, Riverside, Costco, Greenwich, Port Chester, Rye, and so on. Basically, if you want to continue on in the local line you, to see those stops, you can do so, as will be the case when I go to Mamaroneck on 813. <laughs> We don't change in Stanford if you're going to Harlem 125th or Grand Central because that is just the express line from Stanford to the terminal. In conclusion, taking the train is fun, convenient, and way safer than I-95 in the summertime. Remember to stay behind the yellow safety strip, follow station signs, and watch the gap between the train and the platform, and have fun with them. So I hope this was helpful to you guys, because I know we get confused a lot. And thank you for watching.